सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज सेपरेट द रियल एंड द इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ अ फंक्शन नाउ द फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज द कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल दैट इज जेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेड एंड इट इज एक्चुअली एक्स प्लस आई वाई इन द रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म वेर इज इन द पोलर फॉर्म इट इज इक्वल टू आर इन टू ई रेस टू आई थीटा इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट दिस रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म एंड पोलर फॉर्म यू कैन वॉच माई कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल बेसिक वीडियो एंड यू विल हैव अ ग्रेट आइडिया अबाउट द मॉड्यूलर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड द ट्रिक्स एंड टिप्स on this complex variable basics so here we are basically trying to separate the real and the imaginary part of a function now there can be various function so we will deal with varieties of question let us start with this first question f of z is given as z square so if you replace this z by x plus i y that is the rectangular form you will get a plus b the whole square format now you can open it as a square plus 2 ab plus b square and after opening you have to know that you are collecting the real part here like we have x square plus uh, this 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 part is i y the whole square which means it is minus y square correct so x square and minus y square are only the real part whereas the imaginary part are plus i times 2xy so here the real part is x square minus y square and the imaginary part is 2xy so if you have understood about the separation of real and imaginary parts tell me the answer for question number 2 now the question number 2 is f of z is given as e raised to z so i hope you have tried once about solving this question because again we are separating the real and imaginary part what we have to do replace this z by x plus i y this means we are going for the rectangular form and now you can use your indices if you have e raised to a plus b according to the indices it is e raised to a into e raised to b so now you can separate the terms and what you have to do use the euler formula that is e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so after doing the separation this part would be changed to e raised to i y would be changed to cos y plus i sin y now do the separation this is the real part this is the imaginary part and you are done this is all about the strategy if 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 you are reaching here but you don't know the euler formula you are gone and if you know about this but you don't know about the indices you are gone so it's all about strategy if you know the correct concepts correct strategy you can solve any question and that's my guarantee now we will go for some tough questions so the question number 3 is f of z is given as 1 by z again you can replace this z by x plus i y no problem but you cannot comment on the real and imaginary part so what you have to do is you have to multiply divide with the conjugate so denominator has x plus i y you are multiplying with x minus i y and dividing by x minus i y why you are doing this what is the reason chronic why you are multiplying and dividing by the conjugate the answer is simple in the denominator i have the complex part that is i in the denominator i have i i have to get rid of this i so how i can get rid of now you can see that after doing the multiplication and division by the conjugate now the denominator is a plus b into a minus b format which is a square minus b square so do the maths it's x square minus i y the whole square you can say it is equal to x square plus y square so now i am getting rid of the imaginary part that is the iota and that is the reason we are doing this technique this operation so after doing the simplification you can say x minus i y upon x square plus y square which can be splitted as x by x square plus y square and plus i times this term that is minus y by x square plus y square so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so i hope you got the good idea about how we can separate what techniques we have to use and and let's go for some interesting questions as well so this is example number 1 1 plus i upon 1 minus i find the modulus and the argument modulus basically means they are going in the polar form where r is the modulus and theta is the argument now you have to find these two terms how you can find first you should separate you should separate the real and imaginary part because once you get the real part that is x and once you get the imaginary part that is y what you can say your r is equal to root of x square plus y square mm -hmm. and your theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x so i hope you are getting the idea why you need the real and imaginary part to get the answer so first uh, what you can do is i want to get rid of this term what i can do 
I can multiply and divide by the conjugate. So now I am multiplying with 1 plus i dividing by 1 plus i. Now this is a plus b a minus b format which can be written as a square minus b square. Okay after simplification I will get this term. Do the further simplification you will get the value as i. Remember the iota is known as my root of minus 1. So i square is minus 1 and i cube is minus i and i up to the power 4 is 1. So this much b6 this much idea you should have if you are doing the real and uh, imaginary part separation topic so i hope uh, you got the first step that is the value is i now the second step is i can be written as 0 plus 1 times i why i'm writing this so that now i can say my x is 0 and my y is equal to 1 now once you get this what's next r is equal to root of x square plus y square so the answer is 1 theta is tan inverse of y by x the answer is pi by 2 now this is pi by 2 correct because what is the reason the x and the y terms are positive you are in the first quadrant that is the reason you are getting the answer as pi by 2 but there is a homework for you what if this x was negative or what if this y was negative let us take this example if x was positive and y was negative tell me what would be the value of theta okay so the expression is 0 minus i if this was the expression tell me what is the value of argument comment the answer i will tell you whether it's right or wrong so now we will see example number two alpha plus i beta is given as 1 by a plus ib then find the value of alpha square plus beta square into a square plus b square now it's simple because up till now you have studied a good strategy on the separation of real and imaginary part so what you can do is first point you have to get rid of this denominator which has the iota term so i'm multiplying dividing by the conjugate as you can see so i'm getting rid of the denominator from the iota term okay i'm not getting rid of the denominator but the term that was present iota the term that was present i'm getting rid of the iota so that's it and you will get the answer the real part is a by a square plus b square and the imaginary part is minus b by a square plus b square so now what you can say your alpha because now we have to equate this alpha is uh, this value and this beta this beta is this value so this is beta sorry it's not alpha it's beta so alpha is a by a square plus b square beta is equal to minus b by b square plus a square now if you look carefully what you need see the question suggests you need alpha square plus beta square so what you can do is you can square this term alpha square so this would be squared and you can square the beta part as well so this would be square now you are doing alpha square plus beta square you are getting the answer as a square plus b square upon a square plus b square the whole square which can be written as 1 by a square plus b square correct now if you look carefully in the question you need alpha square plus beta square into a square plus b square now do the rearrangement you can bring this denominator in the left hand side so alpha square plus beta square into a square plus b square the answer is what the answer is one so i hope you got the complete idea and i want to give some note so that you you are mastered in this topic now so write some note first point is z can be written as x plus i y in the rectangular form so this is rectangular form it can be written as r into e raised to i theta in the polar form. So r is equal to root of x square plus y square, the imaginary part square plus the real part square, correct? And the theta that is equal to tan inverse of y by x. So this was the basic everybody knew because you have watched my first video. Now the second point is your e raised to i theta, the Euler form is cos theta plus i sin theta. And the second part that is e raised to minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta. So you should have the knowledge of this as well. Also you can write as if you have log of AB it is equal to log of A plus log of B. If you have log of A by B it is equal to log of A minus log of B. All this will help you to solve the question. So I hope you are getting the points and also you can write uh, the cos theta formula is equal to e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta. It's plus. It's plus uh, e raised to minus i theta upon 2. And if you are dealing with the sine theta, is that is equal to e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta upon 2i. So I hope you got all the points which are helpful to master this topic. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट